and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and right here, just finished, potato and egg curry. Now we've made egg curries before with uh, coconut milk. This has got a tomato base. It's got some beautiful, beautiful spices in there. Tastes delicious. It's not gonna take us that long to do. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ingredients we're gonna be using here. So these four, I've got onion at the back, using a red, you could use white if you wanted, chopped, fresh tomatoes, hard boiled eggs, and potatoes. These potatoes, and they're still steaming, you might be able to see, I've parboiled them. So they're pretty hard still, but they're on their way. It's just gonna help the process. Let's take a look at some spices. Okay, so the spices we're using today, um, cumin seeds, bit of cinnamon stick, chili powder, turmeric, and here I've got some ground cumin powder as well. At the back, the fresh green chili. Now they're not particularly massively hot. Lovely flavor, but you know, not fire. So that's why I'm putting that amount in. You know, they're quite chunky cut. And then garlic ginger paste, equal parts of finely minced ginger and garlic. If you don't have that, you could just be chopping fresh kind of chunky stuff. Now, I often talk to you about fresh curry leaves. I use a lot and I said, you might be able to find it dry well, on my travels, I actually have found some. So we're going to give that a go today. I've never actually used curry leaves in a dry form, only fresh. But yeah, we're going to give it a go. Uh, we're going to start this off with some oil. We're going to add a bit of salt. That's about it. Maybe a touch of water. Okay, so I've got a decent sized pot here with some oil in. I'm using sunflower oil. Go ahead and use anything you like. I'm going to just chop in that lovely big piece of cinnamon stick and those cumin seeds. You could be adding some green cardamom to this now, some bay leaf, you know, the list of whole garam masala goes on and on, doesn't it? So what we want to do is just put the heat through those for about 30 seconds. There you go, and let's just infuse that oil with those lovely flavors. Now we're gonna chop in our onion. Then we're going to go in with our garlic ginger paste, our chilies, and our spices. And you can see that I've actually added a touch of that green curry leaf powder, which like I said, I've never used before, so let's give it a go. So in goes our cumin powder, our turmeric, our chili, and the curry leaf dried powder. Why I'm here, and before I forget, let's get some salt in there. And to that we're now gonna add our tomatoes. Now always use a nice, ripe, juicy tomato if you can. This is what's gonna create our sauce on the sala. Now what we wanna do, Sort of fry them around for about three to four minutes. They'll break down a little bit. We're probably gonna add some water to this and then cook it a little bit further. Stir it every now and then. Okay, they're coming on nicely. Just gonna add a little bit of cold water. Don't stir. Now I'm gonna pop a lid on. I'm gonna bring that to the boil. Then let it go just for a couple of minutes. What we're looking for is it all to come together, the tomatoes to break down. We possibly may still add more water. Okay, let's take a look here. Get a lot of this steam out because it's boiling away. And as you can see, those tomatoes have softened really nicely. Now if we give it a good mix, they'll break down a little bit. And use the back of your spoon. Got a really nice little masala there. 
Okay, next step. We're going to drop in our potatoes. Now those potatoes, like I say, they're parboiled. You wouldn't want to eat them. They're quite still, they're really quite tough in fact. So only just a few minutes I've done them for, just to sort of help them on their way. I don't like to do them too much because I actually want them to cook in the sauce and get some of the flavours into them. If they're too soft, they're just going to break. And you'll just have a little bit of sort of masala on the outside. So nice and hard, like I say, boil them just for like three minutes or so. Touch more water. Cold water, by the way, guys. And then the lid's going to go back on. We're going to lower the heat to, not a, si a simmer, above a simmer. I'm going to let that go for about six minutes. Okay, let's jump inside now and take a look. Again, more steam on it out for you guys. That's looking beautiful. Really happy with that. Okay, time for our boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs, so we're going to chop them in. Now what I want to do is I want to cook this for about another, let's just check those potatoes, yeah about another five minutes, well until our potatoes are tender, but this time with the lid off because what I want to do is I want some steam to come out, evaporate a little bit and just thicken it a little bit more. So lid off, about five, six more minutes until the potatoes are done and that's about it. Okay, that is looking really good to me. Check that for salt, you might want to add a touch more salt, it's good for me, certainly. If you wanted, you could maybe add a little touch of garam masala powder, or some fresh cilantro or coriander, or even maybe a little touch of coconut milk. I'm not in my home kitchen, as you may see, I'm, I'm traveling at the moment, so I don't have any garam masala or fresh cilantro, but yeah, that's gonna be wonderful just as it is. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?